I mean, I, maybe I. It just sounds got... like he regressed. Like it sounds like he like went. He was like melee. He was like a man. Well, he was a fox, but he was a man. Like when you hit something with fire, Tori, yeah, like it was deep and it was guttural and it was awesome. Well, maybe this isn't even. Maybe melee wasn't even fox. Maybe it was James McCloud, and this is his son, and then, and then this is Fox's son. But we're getting more Fox versus Bayonetta. Because Colony's stepping in to try and get out on the loser side now. If he gets double eliminated by Fox, I'm going to be so sorry for him. That would be bad. I don't think it's going to happen, though, because... Colony's is great, though. Both like, of these players are no, amazing. No, I'm not saying... That I don't think it's not going to happen because Colony's is, like, bad. Because Colony's is certainly not. But Colony's. I think after playing Kasev, like, you have to know what Fox can do. And... Kasev is unarguably better than Colonies. And plus, Bushi does play for me every once in a while in friendlies. He and like, he there's no shortage that. of foxes in Chicago. Like, oh yeah, that's it. Used to be Mario's. It's foxes. Now. Like I don't think like like losing to Kasev there wasn't losing to Fox. It was losing to Kasev. Yes. Whereas Colonies, on the other hand, like is I think he all he has to do is beat Colonies because he knows how to beat Fox. Yeah, Bushi again. Bushi does play foxes frequently. We are Fox Cago, and Bushi showing that this is Fox Cago. We we know this matchup. Thank, thanks to you and Slowjo and Fax and foxes everywhere. Yeah, lots of foxes. Oh, no punish there. All right, so Bushi again trying to land. And that's again. one thing that I've noticed from Bushi here is oh, that his, I? His, no, his punish game has been like bad. Like he's been having like quite a few things, uh, opportunities to punish, and he just hasn't been doing it. So that's something that he's gonna have to shore up if he gets out of pools here. And he's just throwing out these aerials, long-lasting hitboxes. Fox can't land. Not only long lasting hitboxes, but also activating the guns to just tack on tiny little bits of extra damage so that once he gets, you know, a single back air. But there it is. The single back air. Shield poking right there. I am precognizant today. You could probably predict the whole bracket like Batman if you tried hard enough. I mean, I'm Nightwing. I'm better than Batman. True. I'll just hang out in Bloodhaven. Predicting oh Smash. Gosh, he's not even doing the standard Bayo combos. He's just comboing it with he's, other things. Yeah, he, he's, he's rewriting the Bayo. Uh oh. Look. The, we had a screen drop. Oh, the screen cocked out on us. Case of uh, case of coming by says he thinks that the HDMI might uh, be loose. I actually I noticed I you know to be honest like I noticed that a little bit I pushed more buttons that it was like kind of loose. Yeah, so. case of said he bumped into it earlier. So case of owning up to it. So case of case of's a great guy. Case of he says together. I'm sorry, I'm owning up to it. And Storm's like, all right, you're a good, honest man. We'll take that. Get it together, Kasev. Kasev's actually one of like the most honest and great people. No, though. Kasev is, a, is an amazing dude. But we're not talking about Kasev. Like, if Kasev last, ate your last cookie, he'd, he'd apologize. He'd be like, he I'm sorry. He would buy you a whole package. He would. He would buy you a whole package of Oreos. Like, where's my cookies? Sorry, I ate it. I didn't know. But I'll buy you a new one. Kasev's yeah. cool. Kasev's a good guy. All right, so Bushi, we're... also a great guy. Bushi, Bushi also a great Bushi, guy. Bushi, one of the top tier nice guys. Colony's also a top tier nice guy. Everybody's a top tier nice guy. Guys, basically the point here is that if you come to the Midwest, you're going to have a good time because everyone is an awesome dude. And, and or pretty much. So yeah, please come out to Midwest Mayhem 5 slash endgame slash hidden bosses slash whatever. Everything. Yeah. Or come here right now. Yeah, we still have time. You see, there's still time for you to get here. We have spectator seats available. All right, so uh, Bushi looking for this two stock right now. The Nair? I tell you what, though. We may have seats available, but if... Uh, oh, Colonies just... keeps this up. Uh, he's not going to be around to, to be watched in top 32. Well, he'll still be here because he is from Ohio. So. But no, either I, way, Bushi looking won't pretty be here clean. To be watched. Oh, okay. I'm, what I'm, my overarching point there was Bushi is whooping his butt right now. Well, However, he does get that up smash and up smash shields is that stock out. Could be a fair footstool away or something. I don't know. Yeah. This, is Bushi... maybe that a really fair footstool bait though? Because she has so much movement off stage. Yeah, Bushi's not going to want to go over the edge. Because he doesn't want to risk that. I mean, at least that's what I'm assuming. I could be very, very wrong. Because he does like to edge guard. Bayonetta is good at that. Like, obviously, we saw Kasev get one, but Kasev's a god. Kasev's a god. So. Colony's also good at it. But again, I don't think I don't think Bushi's going to want to risk. Bushi, though, he's, he's his getting damage built him in. Fox at max rage. You can kill Bayonetta like, at like 80% with an up smash. Yeah, Fox definitely. And he's got. You're not allowed to do that against Fox. Because Fox no. is such great mobility, he can punish that. 
Can I get a punish here? No. Oh, oh no. What's really going strange on? punish option. He saw it. He went for it. He went Again, for it. Again, like I said, Bushi's punish game has not seemed as on point as it normally is. He's going to have to try and shore that up here as this match goes forward and as the tournament goes forward if he's able to seal this. Now, what I do know about Bushi is that as, as good as Bushi's gotten, sometimes he just is having a bad day. Uh, he just isn't uh -oh. playing as well. And oh, my goodness. Oh, that up air is so strong. There and it is. Up smash. He reads that. Coming, like, oh, coming back from way deep. Bushi should have sealed that like four or five times and just didn't. Uh, all right, Unibrowny's coming in. Unibrowny's also a great guy. Unibrowny's giving him that comforting trying to, back rub. Trying to help him, but Bushi kind of shaking it off. So Ruins, as we go into game two here, what are we looking for Colonies to do? Because he, like, like, other than, like three drop punishes from Bushi. Like, Counties should have lost that by all rights. Yes. What does he need to do differently to not go into a huge hole and secure and get game two? Uh, Counties or Bushi? Counties. Well, I'm just going to say what I always say. That. Laser. Yeah. Laser and run. Just be away from Bayonetta because Bayonetta does get big damage off the combos and Fox can just avoid those just by getting out of the way. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, I think, yeah, like, I, I think to kind of go along with you say, like, it, he needs, his spacing needs to be working, like, on point if he wants to not go into a huge hole. And right now, he's not. Like, he's he's playing this the way he needs to play. He needs to build damage and get Bayonetta in percentages where up smash and up air are dangerous. Because that means that Bayonetta trying to, like, dive kick and stuff is is crazy unsafe because all Fox has to do is pop out once and, uh... It's going to be game over. Yeah, Fox is going to be able to punish her landings and her side Bs on stage very, very well. Bushi because obviously, as we all know, the more Bayonetta does in the air with all her stuff, the more landing like she has. Yes, and Fox... Uh -oh. that's a dead Fox. That's it, yep. And I'm not even going to say it because I've already said it like 10 times, but yeah, yeah, it's Fox. Smash DI. Uh, yeah, guys, if you're just tuning into us, this is to get out of pools. Uh, Bushi versus Colonies. Bushi just jumping over it. Also very wise, a lot of people will unshield and get hit by it, because it does extend when you release it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that was, I'm normally a, not a fan of the side B, the side B, B but that was, that was the best possible yeah. option. That was beautiful. That was good. And if it wasn't for that stock being, like, for the stock difference, I would say that, like, Colonies really has this figured out. But, like, honestly, like, Bushi's... Bushi gets one of those combos, and if you yeah. just uh -oh. kick it out... Uh oh Oh, oh my wow! God, the air, Bushi. That was kind of crazy. I love new Bayonetta. I love new Bushi. Cause I said it earlier, Bushi got nerfed. Bayonetta got nerfed, and then Bushi got better. Right, but I'm saying like I love like that like Bayonetta has like the new the patched Bayonetta, the nerfed Bayonetta has to be so much more creative. With it's what more, she it's, does. It's definitely fun to watch. I mean, yeah. pre patch was just like, all right, Bayonetta's on. I'm gonna tune into a different stream. But Bayonetta. But this is actually pretty good to watch. Like, we would have no opportunity to see that awesome, like, up air and then wait and then forward air, or, yeah, forward air to get the kill. Because, right. like, otherwise, because Fox would have just been dead because you can't fall out of Bayonetta's combos there. So we are on Battlefield. This is, um, one of Fox's good stages for, definitely for Foxes who have a, a very good grasp on their combo game and yeah. their, uh, their conversions. And one thing that, again, again, I think this is a good stage for Fox also in this matchup particularly is because Bushi's gonna have to be really careful with his dive kicks because if he gets trapped on a platform, up air and up smash hurt yeah, a Fox, lot. Yeah, Fox definitely has some of the better platform pressure in this game. Oh, the air dodge, that was unusual from, from Colonies there. And, and Colonies does seem to be liking this stage pick here. It's, it's working out really well. That was uncharacteristic Colonies right there. He's been doing a quite good job shielding through uh, the down tilt. All right, Colonies does break out of that. And that's one of the stressful things, actually, is you can't see the camera when it's zoomed in like that. And you might side B under the stage to get pineapple because the left side is jankier than the right. But Colonies, uh -oh. I'm sorry, Bushi. That is a dead fox. Yep, Bushi looking really Bushi feeling right himself now. now. He's, get he's getting the punishes. He's getting the combos. Not what we saw in game one. Game two, he started to pick it up, though. And when you live in Fox Cago, you know the matchup. Yeah. And he, he definitely lives here, so. No, and, and that's the thing is, is I don't think Bushi was necessarily playing the matchup wrong. He was just playing, like, uncharacteristically poorly at the start of it. Oh, and yeah. And since then, has completely turned up. It, was, it wasn't a matter of matchup. It was just, I gotta, I gotta wake up, and he's done that. Right now, though, he's got to be careful because, like I said, he, he's dive-kicking in that upward angle that's been working for him, but if he gets trapped on that platform, an up air um, could possibly seal it out. All right, yeah, Fox cannot get that conversion. It's far too high. No, yeah, down air on shield from the back is normally safe. Bayonetta doesn't have good out of shield. 
Uh, so Fox can't do that uh -oh. whenever he wants. Good DI going all the way left from Colonies there. The shield, oh my gosh, the shield pressure. Jab and, that was jab melee. pressure was really real right there. That was almost melee pressure. Not quite because no shines, but... God, how great would it be if shine... Don't get my hopes up. ...was a thing. Oh my gosh, oh, wow. he's got a side B. And no, Edgar... Oh, he missed space that uh, which time? Which time there. But that would have been a dead fox. Yeah, sure. But that'll kill anyway. the fox. Colonies, even though he put a strong showing, Bushi kind of calmed himself down and said, hey, I've had opportunities. I need to stop missing them. Stopped missing them. Took it and is now advanced into loser side of top 32 from pool A. So congratulations to Bushi. Better luck next time, Colonies. Now, Crow, um, Crow making it out on yeah. this pool, though. That's so